Alrighty. Got a big box of Motion Raceworks. My new Stroud 430 air launcher parachute setup, Jim Jammy. Um, I raffled off my Stroud 430 pilot shoot a couple of days ago. Guy Mark won it, super excited. I mean, we wouldn't pay for $20. And I went and ordered this. Doug took care of me, hooked me up. Oof. That fresh Motion Raceworks Flex Fit. New fresh Motion Raceworks t-shirt. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> I love that that's black now and not white. I always hated that that cover was white because you drop it on the floor once, it's freaking dirty and it's disgusting. I'm super excited that that's black now. This is the airline. Some pretty beefy airline. I didn't realize it was going to be that big. Safety in the fast lane. Wow. Some large um, fittings there. I thought this stuff was a uh, quarter inch. That it is not. Let's see. One more piece in here. And the uh, main piece. <laughs> That's pretty cool. There's a plug in it. That's probably why it's making it so hard for me. Yeah. So I just saw the other day that Tim McAmos, see that big gap there? Apparently stuff can get stuck around that on the parachute. He makes a carbon fiber one that lays flat. The pit, it's just like a little lump in the middle and it lays flat. It's like 90 bucks. I'm probably going to buy it because that's pretty sweet. Well, there's your plate, your pilot, or uh, your ram, your air cylinder. And your, take this back to the back of the car for a second and see if this fits on my shoe map. Oh yeah. Fucking perfect. Um, it fits well. I'm trying to show you guys. Oh, well. Let me shed some more light on the situation there. <laughs> That's where that's gonna sit. Plenty of room under the bumper and everything. It's not hitting anything. This is why I told you you need the cage style because it comes right through the center. But yeah, that's that's freaking cat's ass right there. Okay, so you saw all that. Pretty straightforward, right? Uh, the only thing that you don't see in that is you need an air cylinder and you need an air regulator. Talking to a couple people, Doug told me they run that thing at 100 PSI and it seems to be okay. It says 150 PSI. Um, there's only one problem. I need two things, maybe three eventually, to do uh, what I'm going to need. So I'm going to go with the air actuated parachute, air release. So you might, that still needs a manual handle to open. That thing is just sitting on pressure, and when it's released, it goes. I'm going to get the air release from Doug, where you just hit a button on your steering wheel, and it, it moves the handle for you. Now, there's a lot of misconceptions with that, and we'll go over that when I do buy it. And I need air for a shifter eventually. It'll be air shifted for racing. So, Doug said he's working on a, something to have a dual regulator set up, because... 
the shifters don't or his air actuator doesn't like he likes them around 80 psi so you don't blow through the solenoids and all that but i want to shoot a higher 150 psi so you're going to need two bottles no you got to do like a dual regulator setup and he's working on that now so let's get this thing mounted. i'll show you how quick okay let's get this mounted up what i'm going to do is since that's an exhaust part and you can't cover it I'm gonna put that facing as down as it can be uh, simply for this will be driven on the street and if I get caught in the rain I won't be going in there <laughs> because I won't feel like I'm bolting this thing to drive Got some stainless hardware with some ARP nuts to use. Car's gonna be driven outside, like I just said. Stainless isn't a bad idea. Okay, that's, in my opinion, the hardest part of the install is getting this thing mounted and looking nice on the car. So, that's all bolted down now. Nice, nice. Get your piston. This thing is fucking sturdy. I think you can leave this one packed because there's no spring. Rod is pretty much climate controlled. It, you know, it ranges from 55 to 75 in here, 365. It never really gets below or above that. So we'll call it climate controlled. I really don't have any issues and I'm gonna call Stroud just to double check, but I don't see the harm in leaving it packed because there's no shoot. They might tell you it needs to breathe or whatever if it gets wet, I, I don't know. So I'm gonna call them and ask before I even say definitely, but I have a feeling this can be leave packed and not be an issue. So this is the whole D bag and deployment shoot uh, I showed you already um, I'm gonna go over how to pack a parachute there's videos all over the place about it everybody has their own style I, I, I'll show you how I do it I mean Stroud even has their own videos on it this is a little bit different than a pilot shoot but I'm not really gonna go over everything you, you got to make sure everything's tucked in the D bag and you got enough slack hanging out but one thing you don't want to do with an is you can put this in two ways you can put it in exactly like that or you can put it in sideways um personal choice probably oh i forgot my string hold on we gotta have the string say <laughs> take this thing put it in pull your flaps out around it this is actually probably going to be a little harder because this thing isn't packed tight. You know, I'm not packing it right now. And whatever side your cable comes out on, mine comes out on the right side. So you want to put this right side flap in first, other side flap in last.
to remove before flight pin. Stick it in there. And that's done. <laughs> Holy shit. Let me tell you, after doing that, I will never have a pilot spring shoot ever again. That was, that was a fucking cakewalk. Wow. <laughs> I'm happy they switched to a black canvas on there. I can't even believe, it. so happy. I can't even describe it. Looks so much better. Now you wanna take your string out, if you're at the track, take your string out, make sure your cable is through here. Now, remember I told you, you gotta have, should have some sort of cap over the end of this line. Uh, I use a 3AN brake flare. Let me get a uh, wrench to tighten. Some people use vacuum caps. I prefer the uh, 3AN because it's just tight enough to where you can thread it on to the plastic shield. So this way it, it, it shouldn't come off when you're going down the track. Well, got that bolted down. Tagline. Um, this is probably too much slack out. You don't want you don't want this thing dragging on the ground. Um, so I'm in for right now. I'm just gonna try to shove it up into the bag but when you pack it just you don't want a ton of excess on this there's no reason for a ton of excess on this especially this much <laughs> step of installing this is left is the air portion of it because it's not going to work without it now you have to decide where you want to go into the car with this they give you a straight fitting two straights and a nine and you also have to figure out where you want to mount this thing um, you kind of want this accessible my buddy mounted his in the car I not a fan of it I'd rather have it mounted out here somewhere so you pack the chute you pull your pin you got your cable in bang you flip it it's arm done you don't walk around wait till you get in the car and you might forget about the damn thing Again, personal preference. Okay, so I think I decided to mount my switch in the side of my bumper. Well, in the back of the bumper, I should say. I just think it'll be easier to do everything here. Bang, arm the switch. It'll be muscle memory for you guys uh, because it could be costly if it's not. You forget to arm this thing, you throw the handle, you got no parachute, short shut down, you could be in a lot of mental checklist for you. They make all sorts of cutters for this hose. Um, this is what I use. Whatever it is, just uh, buy them. Nice, clean, crisp cut end. So you don't got no air leak. All right, let me show you guys. You can see the air fitting going through the bumper. The switch right here, which I cracked a little paint on. Not too thrilled about, but like I said, I don't want to replace this bumper anyway. That loops to the switch. Another airline out. There you go. This obviously isn't tied up yet. Don't get much easier than that. I mean, well, the pilot shoots a little bit easier. But it's harder to pack so <laughs> that install went pretty smooth wasn't bad i showed you guys the whole mounting system now i showed you getting the parachute on it i want to thank doug from motion raceworks hooked me up with the parachute. all your stroud needs you could uh, give motion raceworks a call and they will answer any question you have and they'll take care all right guys i hope you enjoyed it i hope i made it a little bit easier for you to install because again nothing comes with instructions Get out in the garage, guys, work on your hot rod, grab a drink, clean something, build something, have a good night.